art therapy essentially is a way to mentalize and get out what's inside on the paper. You don't have to be an artist to do the art, that we all have this inherent ability to be creative. What's great about art is there's also those pieces of whatever's bringing someone to therapy that, that might not be verbal. And so that's where I really feel the art can come in. It's where you can start engaging with the materials and the experiencing, the nonverbal piece of it. So you're working on art, you're not talking, you're just engaging in the materials. And then all of a sudden, all of this information, all of these emotions are coming forward. And it can really provide insight in a way that, that talk therapy may not actually be able to access. You can see what materials people choose. Like some people are like, I'm only going to use a pencil and my drawings are only going to be this big. I mean, that says something about their being timid, being, you know, perfectionistic. If someone's really tense, you know, you might use watercolors because that's very soothing. So you pick the different materials depending on what you're trying to assess or what you're trying to encourage or inspire. I think is really great and part of that healing process is helping them realize that it's actually about expression that art doesn't have to be product that it can really be focused on getting to know yourself uh, learning also how to cope using materials that you might have even just around your house and learning how you can use art to to work through the day to day but the inside through their work is only pure joy often like you know abundance of colors it's just an amazing i think the need to release for them and it makes them feel very good. I use it in different colors. Yeah, yeah I like it. It's it's more it's brighter than yeah. usual. Fire. Yeah, and with some yellow, it's gonna be even better. At, at, at yeah. Also. yeah. Yeah. That's cool. People have a tremendous amount of ability to to heal themselves, and that's what I try to support is people's strengths and you know just that wisdom that resides in all of us and um, and how our bodies and our minds can can help us that clients through art making through the therapeutic process are not only able to to kind of heal those pieces but also really building their confidence and sense of self that like i can i can take on the world i can manage these things and and though we're focusing on very specific things in the section helping them see that this also carries out into that larger world and that there's so much they're capable of there's so much strength that they have Hopefully what therapy is about, no matter what technique you use, it's about attunement with who you're working with, it's about creating safety, and it's about opening up options. How can we use art to emotionally regulate? And so I often, I'll have clients that will figure that out where, you know, they're becoming so emotionally dysregulated. Now what they can do is grab a piece of paper and like scribble, scribble, and like just scribble it out instead of having an explosion of anger on someone. It's the only recreational uh, activity they have, you know, and they really, really look forward to it. Never met artists as angry and, you know, driven and focused as those guys. And art therapy is a great way to kind of work through those, those fears and anxieties and traumas we, we we are either individually experiencing or collectively it gets all jumbled up right and so if you can put it in some kind of form or have a distance perspective then you can start understanding it in you know in a bigger way but stop thinking i feel like so many of us are thinking and problem solving i, I think that's where art therapy can really come in it's like let's stop thinking for a minute let's just do and see what comes up. And I think that's where a lot of healing and help can come from is just to be able to kind of sit and be with someone and see what kind of comes up and what those needs are.